decided to visit the ocean park in Cebu city today. Cebu Ocean Park. We got here, we had to queue up for tickets, there were a lot of people and this was on a weekday. Funny enough, it's actually cheaper to visit the park on weekdays because you get to pay just 600 pesos and more expensive on weekends which is 800 pesos. We came by 2 p.m. so by 3 p.m. we had the bed show, meet and greet. After payment, the next thing is to go to the photo booth. You are entitled to two shots, two pictures. You have to queue up, take the picture, get the link from the screen, copy it to your web browser and there you can download your pictures. You can download and save your pictures but there's a time limit. You have to do that within seven days. After the pictures, your journey starts here. You have to pass and submit your ticket to them. After submitting your ticket, you proceed to the jungle trek. The jungle trek. A very, very interesting trek. <laughs> it's very interesting because while you're walking, you get to observe different creatures. You get to observe different species of fishes. You get to observe the lizards. You get to see the snakes. You get to see different creatures. And trust me, it looks like a jungle as you can see. The trees, the leaves around it. And you can't help but appreciate God's creation. God is indeed good and crazy. Now this is a blood red parrot to child. Look at them. I'm so sorry about my reflection. I couldn't help it. It was reflecting and a lot of people were also there. I couldn't tell them, can you excuse me? I'm trying to make a video that isn't polite. So I tried to cover as much as I could. These are all that species. I'm so sorry. I should have zoomed in on the name so you guys could see it. After that, I proceeded to the next phase of my jungle trek. I really love this change, like just opening them makes me feel like I'm indeed going on an adventure. As you can see, the, the leaves, the flowers, the plants, everything makes it so natural. Gives you the jungle vibe. George of the jungle, or should I say Christine of the jungle. Okay, we got here and I noticed there were a lot of people taking pictures on this part of it. So I just moved to show you guys the red belly Paco. That's our red belly Paco. And as you guys know it, we are on a jungle trek. So obviously there's going to be more trekking, more walking until we are done with our jungle trek. But I love everything about this area. It's so serene, so calming, relaxing. You just walk through, observe, appreciate God's creation and learn. You also learn because actually these species are named I just didn't pay attention to their names. I observed that a lot of families came to the park with their little ones, with their children, and they were really, really busy educating those kids on the names of fishes, on the, the animals there, their names, what they are called, and I find that really, really, really educative. I find that very, very good to do. As parents at that age, our kids' brain are developing. So they tend to pick and store as much information as they can. They are able to retain whatever they, they are taught at that period. So I really think it's advisable for you to take kids to the zoo and to parks like this where they can learn practically by seeing the creatures, by seeing the animals and naming them. Now let's take a look at the alligator gar. Fun fact about this fish is that it's the largest in the gar family and it weighs up to 350 pounds. It is named alligator gar because it has physical similarities to an alligator and it is the heavyweight champion of its native environment. In this part of the park, um, bright lights were not allowed. If you observe closely, you can see that the lights here were just dim, very, very dim. I think focused mainly in the cage of the animals. This particular lizard was just giving me the rest in beach phase. This is leopard gecko. I saw different colors. I think that they, they are all different species, but they are all leopard geckos. And fun fact about them is that they are gentle lizards. Here is the Mexican red knee tarantula. And we also have the Gucci sapphire ornamental tarantula. I couldn't really find that one. I think it was somewhere hiding. 
Madagascar he is in cockroach wow <laughs> They look so big and different from the regular cockroaches. Asian forest scorpion. Mm. Guys, actually, this part of the park, I don't really like it. We have the giant millipede. I didn't like it because of the snakes. They are getting there. Ah. I do not like snakes for anything. Wow, these fishes look so beautiful and they are blended to their environment. Okay, we have the sugar glider. I think it was somewhere hanging close by or inside its cage. I couldn't find it either because of the light. I really couldn't differentiate them from their environment. We have the baby green iguana. Mm. <laughs> Standing there like a boss. We have the savannah monitor lizard. Bomis python. Guys, this is the part I don't like. Oh my god, it's so big. Jeez. So it took me a while. I was just there shaking, and look at this one. John's so just hanging. I was like, "How are you hanging there? How are you just hanging there?" These ones were just there. They didn't really care. They were just on their own. Also, it was so big, man. God, really, people do keep this these animals as pets. Wow, <laughs> I cannot relate to you guys. They make me have goosebumps on my body whenever I see them. Even recording this voiceover now, I'm just not looking at the screen. I'm trying to just talk and not look at the screen. That's another one. Are we done yet? Oh my god, that's a red one. Wow, I think we're done. Yes, we're done. So this is the Philippine monitor lizard. Wow, a whole Philippines monitor lizard. So it's just there on its own, relaxing as well. Most of these creatures were just giving us a show, and some of them were tired. Oh my god, back to the snakes again. Mm, I don't know why I forgot to add this one at the front. I think I'm giving you guys a close up look of them, and I don't know who sent me that work, but, anyways, ha, ah, we're done. Going to the next part. Guys, can you guess what we are going to see in this next part? I'm sure you guessed wrong. <laughs> We're seeing the Loris red parrot. Yay, the parrot. I was so eager to meet them, to talk to them, to have a conversation with parrots. I know, right? But I got here and they were all just on the branches and there they didn't really come to me. I was trying to capture some of them, they didn't really come. And then I decided to summon them by feeding them. I got their feed and they were all over me. They were just eating from my hands. It's like, oh, now, now you're eating from my hand. <laughs> now you're here. They were just eating, relaxing, posing for the camera, going back to their food. <laughs> I was a bit scared of doing this. This is not the first time I'm feeding birds, but the first time they land on your hand is actually quite scary. And their nails kind of like pinches into your skin. So I was so scared of that part. After feeding them, we headed to the seven seas. <laughs> the seven seas in this oceanarium. Are you guys ready to see different fishes, different animals in these seven seas? All right, let's go. First, I saw this group of fish. Um, I don't know why they were all together, but they are actually two. They are two kinds. This one is different from the other one. I think the color is different. There's like a yellow mark on that one and then there's none on the other one. Guys, do you know that the plural of fish is actually still fish if they are of the same species? It is fishes if they are of different species, if you're referring to different species of fish. But if you are talking about a particular species of fish, maybe the I love them or you're trying to um, talk about them in the plural form, it is still fish. Ah, I feel good educating you guys on this one. <laughs> So yeah, this beautiful um, place out be a fish and there we go, that's Nemo. I was like, hi Nemo, come say hi to me. Hi, hi Nemo. And then I left, um, don't worry, we're going to see a lot more of Nemo's. We're going to see many more Nemo's, so let's just go to the next one. Um, wow, this fish is so pretty. I love the color, the color in the water and in the environment. It looks so good. And it's that black spot. I don't even know what that is. But it makes it really look good. And okay, took me. I saw some of its friends. Like, oh, wow, these are your friends. Nice. Hi, nice to meet you guys. I love your environment. Looks clean, looks aesthetic. I would love to visit you guys soon. And they were like, sure, no problem. It's like, okay, bye. Moving on guys 
I have to laugh. This fish cracks me up. Can you guys guess the name? Can you take a wild guess? I'm sure you didn't get it. So I'm just going to tell you guys. The name of this fish is called the Map Puffer. I think Puffer because of how the face looks like. And it looks so much like Sarah or Hemi. Sarah is my housemate. That fish reminds me of her. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sarah. But yeah, moving on. I'm guessing this is an electric eel. And I feel someone can get electrocuted just by touching that water. If indeed it is an electric eel. Came out, say hi. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. That's a close up. This particular sea had tanks in cylindrical forms like most of the aquariums were in cylindrical forms and I'm thinking it's obviously because of the, the fishes because of their species I don't know if that's a tree or what inside it and the fishes were all swimming around it up down up down I call this fish slow motion fish I don't know why it seemed like they were not moving or they were moving gradually but they were all there yay i told you guys we were going to see more of nemo's family so yeah this is the nemo special <laughs> do you guys remember the map puffer fish now this is a different one it's called the dog face puffer fish if you look closely they have a dog face and they are kind of puffed <laughs> but i find them really really cute they look so cute and look really really different <laughs> that's really nice yeah they came close to my camera they were like, hi baby <laughs> i don't know about you guys but today was the day i learned about stonefish i learned of stonefish i never knew there was something like stonefish that's a stonefish that's a fish it's just not moving the one at the back is actually moving but if you notice they look so much like stones look at all four of them at the front are stonefish yeah you can guess the name of this one already it's a zebra moray i want you guys to help me out in this part in like the whole video if there's a fish i didn't name and you know the name kindly comment in the comment section let's help ourselves learn let's learn together feel free to talk about the fishes share the fun facts you know about them share their names share um, anything you know about these fishes you can share with us in the comment section it will be very very much appreciated all right so i think after this part this was the last sea of the seven seas so we came out we came outside to look at the environment there were also more fishes here yeah that's the starfish this was the starfish section see them close up yeah <laughs> i'm sure we all know starfish and it's very easy to recognize because of the shape the pattern it looks like a star so you just see something that looks like a star and like oh yeah that's a starfish <laughs> so this group of fish actually looks like something i'm going to eat just eat bigger sizes but i want you guys to focus on that spotted eagle ray can you see it moving so majestically it'll come back don't worry i love this particular fish the spotted eagle ray fish yeah i love it they are named eagle because of the shape of their snouts yeah the shape of their snout looks like the wings of an eagle so that's why they are named spotted eagle ray as you can see yeah we got to this part this was supposed to be the venue for the show the bed show but we came late so we missed it moving forward was this part like there were a lot of people here so many people i couldn't even record a, a lot of videos on this part of the oceanarium because of the people there everyone was just reflecting in the glass i was also reflecting so i just tried to cover a little for you guys yeah of what it looks like well this is the best place for you to take pictures remember a few minutes ago i showed you guys the spotted eagle ray hold on i'm going to show you guys the stink ray it's coming yeah that's it that's the stingray look at it <laughs> yeah i stood for a while to capture it more so the difference between the both of them is actually their snout you just have to look at their snout one is shaped as like that of an eagle yeah they're divers in the tank and a lot of people like i said <laughs> then look at this color fish mm, 
fastened by yummy i eat this one i would definitely eat this one they look like my titles but just bigger that's the diver there i think i'll be very scared to be so close to fish like ooh, i would love to be in the water but then when i see the big fishes coming i'll be so scared this place kind of like a cafeteria or a mini restaurant i don't know you can just buy something close by and sit eat and yes this place you can get souvenirs you can get gifts for your children you can get gifts for people back at home you know, there's something filipinos call it like when you travel and you're coming back with something this a name they call that particular thing if you know it please tell me in the comment section i've heard it before but i can't remember that's nemo <laughs> you can buy nemo for your kids yeah i'm sure they would love it i like the nemo but i didn't get it anyways i'm not a fan of teddies or this kind of things on my bedside i'm not a big fan of it so guys that's the end of this video this tour tour around the oceanarium the biggest oceanarium in the philippines which is the cebu ocean park yeah my city has the biggest and i'm so happy i got the opportunity to visit there it's so much fun and you should visit there as well if you like this video kindly give me a, a thumbs up yeah like it let me know you like it by actually clicking on the thumbs up leave a comment below for me like i said feel free to talk about any fish feel free to educate us on the fishes the names their fun facts and stuff like that i would really really appreciate it and share my video so i love people can see it as well if you have plans of visiting the park please do that on the weekday it's cheaper but if you can afford it on a weekend why not Feel free.